السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome back with the new lecture with LCMS MS. In the previous lecture, we have explained electrospray ionization ion source, which is the most popular ion source required for most of techniques and most of lab activities nowadays, in which ion carrying sample molecules will pass through the needle. Ion carrying sample molecules will pass through the needle, and nitrogen gas, nebulizer gas. <coughs> or sheath gas, which is nitrogen gas, will shear around that ion carrying sample molecules, leading to converting them to spray droplets. Converting them to spray droplets, which consist of sample molecules surrounded by solvent molecules. And by the aid of high voltage applied to the needle, high voltage applied to the needle, these droplets will be ionized by the same polarity ionized to form aerosol charged droplets by the same polarity as the voltage of light. If the voltage of light in case of positive mode, it will be positive, so it will take positive polarity. In case of negative mode, it will take negative polarity. So after that, dissolvation process. Dissolvation process. To remove the solvent molecules because only analyte ions should be transferred to the mass analyzer. So these solvent molecules will be evaporated <coughs> by the effect of temperature and the drying gas resulting in or leading to decrease of the charged droplet radius and the increase of the charge density. So repulsion between the light charges repulsion between the light charges will be higher than the surface tension forces of the droplets breaking up the droplets to smaller and the smaller droplets resulting in ejection of iron that will be transferred <coughs> to the mass analyzer for analysis of molecular mass and the measurement of ion intensity if you need more details about electrospray ionization ion source you can go back for the previous lecture Today's lecture will be around atmospheric pressure chemical ionization. Atmospheric pressure chemical ionization, as we see in this graph, mobile phase from HPLC will carry the sample molecules, and element carrying sample molecules will pass through the spray needle by the effect of nebulizer gas or sheath gas or nitrogen gas that will shear around the element carrying sample molecules converting them to spray droplets that consists of, as we said in the electrospray ionization ion source consists of sample molecules surrounded by the solvent molecules then after that dissolvation process to remove the solvent molecules or to evaporate the solvent molecules by the effect of heated vaporizer from 250 up to 400 degrees centigrade where these spray droplets will move through that heated vaporizer and by the effect of heater and dissolvation gas these spray droplets will be converted to analyte molecules and solvent vapors after that corona discharge will produce electrons that will make ionization for solvent molecules to form solvent ions to form solvent ions these solvent ions will react with other solvent molecules to form more solvent ions. So solvent ions should be produced in higher, should be produced or presented in higher concentration than analyte molecules. After that, these solvent ions will make ionization through chemical ionization process, will make ionization for analyte molecules through proton transfer. In, the, in case of uh, protonation, in case of positive mode, or proton lose, or electron transfer in case of negative mode. So in case of positive mode, it will, these solvent ions will make ionization force analyte molecules to form protonated species. And in case of negative mode, these solvent ions will Transfer also will make electron transfer or proton lose to form deprotonated species. 
and only these analyte ions will be transferred to the mass analyzer for analysis of molecular mass and measurement of ion intensity. So these are the steps in details. Nebulization process. L1 carry example molecules will pass through the spray needle. Nebulizer gas or sheath gas, which is nitrogen gas, sheaths around the molecules, converting them to spray droplets, which consists of sample molecules surrounded by the solvent molecules. After that, the solvation process. <coughs> These spray droplets will pass through a heated vaporizer, 250 to 400 degrees centigrade, and by the aid of this heater and this solvation gas, solvent will be evaporated, solvent molecules will be evaporated to be converted to analyte molecules. These spray droplets will be converted to analyte molecules and solvent vapors. Corona discharge. <coughs> produce electrons that will make ionization for the solvent molecules for the solvent molecules to form solvent ions solvent ions then react with other solvent molecules to form more ions so solvent molecules should be presented in higher concentration than analyte molecules at the end chemical ionization for analyte molecules where solvent ions produced will transfer charges to analyte molecules to form protonated species positive ions or deprotonated species negative ions. In case of positive mode, proton transfer from the solvent ions to analyte molecules to form like this positive ions. And in case of negative mode, proton loss or electron transfer from solvent ions to analyte molecules to form at the end analyte ions that will be transferred to the mass analyzer. As we see in this simple reaction, solvent molecules will be analyzed by electrons produced from corona discharge through electron ionization to form solvent ions or molecular ion. Then these solvent ions will then react with other solvent molecules to this solvent molecules will lose proton to uh, these solvent ions to form in the SH positive, this ion will then react with the molecule, will transfer the charge to the molecule through proton transfer reaction to form in a solvent molecule plus MH positive or the analyte ion that will be transferred to the mass analyzer. And if you want to uh, refresh your information, you can go back to the chemical ionization picture to see the four reaction related to chemical ionization. As we know also from the electrospray ionization ion source, atmospheric pressure chemical ionization also is a soft ionization technique where ionization only happens in the ion source to produce ions that will be transferred to the mass analyzer and these ions after that will be fragmented in the mass analyzer not in the ion source by collision cell or Q2 quadruple 2. That was the end of our lecture for today. I hope it was helpful for you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and leave a comment if you want any question. Thank you and see you in the next lecture, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.